Industry on Parade stops off at the New York waterfront for a look at some of the new ideas being adopted by the great American shipping industries. Let's visit the Hudson River Pier of the Moore-McCormick lines and see a few of the innovations in cargo handling methods adopted during the past few years. When a cargo liner is about to sail, the bustle of activity is much like that to be found when a passenger liner leaves, except, of course, that it's goods instead of people that converge on the pier from all parts of the nation. The use of pallets and forklift trucks has relieved the hard-working longshoreman of much of the back-breaking labor that formerly was his lot. The cases and bags are stacked on the pallets, which then can be shifted about the pier or hoisted right into the ship's hold. But this cargo is going into a steel container called a cargo van first. The cargo vans are proving especially useful in the safe shipment of small cargo that's more susceptible to pilferage or damage in handling. The vans are scientifically and snugly packed, so goods can't shift or break loose, either when being loaded or during the ocean voyage. Not only does it save storage space aboard ship, but in a cargo van, a shipment is kept under lock and key until it reaches its destination. In days gone by, and even today in the ports of some nations, cargo is manhandled aboard ship, trundled up gangways, then down into the holes on the backs of men. Tortuous, expensive business compared to methods like these. Only U.S. style speed, service, and efficiency have allowed American shipping firms to meet foreign competition with its vastly lower wages. The same sort of know-how that created the wide array of American industrial products we see moving out to ready markets everywhere in the free world. For the best trucks in the world, you must have the best tires. And not even Joe Stalin has any doubts about where they are made. After the tires come barrels of salt cod, all ingeniously stowed away according to a plan carefully thought out in advance. One day spent in watching the loading of a cargo liner gives a good idea of the tremendous scope and variety of production here in America. It's a real achievement on the part of Moore McCormick and other land, sea, and air transport industries that they've been able to keep the goods moving as fast as our farms and factories turn it out. <laughs>